Okay. Uh, we've got. Yeah, I can. I can barely hear you. Okay. Huh? Um, turn your feet up a little bit. Mine on. Uh, huh? uh, we gotta wait five minutes for the Steven to smook. Are you okay, uh -huh. Well, our, well, he says he's gonna join us, so I guess we don't have to wait five minutes on his holiness. I can't believe, uh, man, Ohio is going back and forth. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I'm gonna laugh my ass off if we go to sleep with one guy and wake up with another one, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, well, it's not that close. The reason why I emailed you that is that even let's say he went run to Florida and Ohio. He, he can't so win. He can. He's won the popular, but he can't win the electoral. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but wait, uh, the state I was counting on was Iowa, and um, and uh, I didn't even come. It didn't even come close. So, and Colorado, I highly doubt will go. He, in other words, Romney can win. Uh, you know, Florida. There Virginia. isn't enough for him to win to win the electoral. Right. He, I, but I, it, here's, you know what? This is the fucking trifecta night. I Are told, you, I, recording? yes, I'm recording. Steven will join us in a few minutes when he's done smoking. We but can, we can give our uh, Democrat viewers a uh, congratulations. Well, no, but I want to point out a bit. I want to point out what happened tonight. Okay, what happened tonight was pretty much like I said. It's a 50-50 coin toss of the nation's damn divided. Barack Obama got reelected by the electoral. Mitt Romney won the popular vote, and the United States is on its way to having 51 states. Who was the 51st state? Puerto Rico. They voted for statehood. It was on the ballot, and it won. Damn! I didn't know that. I always thought they didn't want a statehood. Oh, for years they've been voting against it because they got the benefits without much of the cost, but they voted for it. So they now get federal and federal. Be a so, so, so yeah, Puerto Rico is going to get federal minimum wage. They're going to get federal sun. They're going to it, it, now. This isn't an overnight process, but over sixty percent of Puerto Rico. Well, I think that's kind of cool, though. I mean, I mean, yeah. So basically, tonight the United State States, uh, the the incumbent won against the popular vote. The United States changed the number of states, and it, it okay. I'm it, you know what. I need a drink. <laughs> my wife is livid. And, and my wife is Hispanic and she's livid, you know. About? Uh, she's livid. But, yeah, it, it would be interesting we wake up. But I highly doubt it, Rusty. I don't think Colorado. Oh, no, no. There isn't enough electorials out uh, that can change. There's I mean, enough for the vote in. If went wrong, then, okay. Then we would wake up tomorrow morning and. It would be a different story. But well, but it's only nine votes, and I mean... No, if he gets Virginia, Ohio, and Florida, and Colorado, then yes, it's 272. Mm, well, and technically, with 86% in right now, Ohio, but it's still, it's 1%. I mean, it's... It, you yeah. know what, though, but let's look at it this way. Obama won Ohio by almost five points, in no way. And, that, and look how close it is now. Oh, a lot of these are tough. But you know what? Here's my problem. I went off just, and, and, and I know a lot of Democrats, you know, what are, are going to cite, I know, like, the whole Nate Silver stuff. That's a probability on polls, right? And the thing that I did was was I looked at um, early S&T ballots and all, and all that, and Obama was, was lower. He was almost 5% lower. And Republicans had made up a deficit to bring to bring in the points to to a reasonable um, delta to overcome. And then even Democrat pollsters, of which I was looking at a lot of the polls, kept saying that turnout would break for Romney. That did not happen. In other words, what Obama lost in early votes from compared to 2008, did registered Republicans vote for Obama this time around? Are there Obama repos like there were Reagan Democrats? That's my question because the math is the math, and that's why I was I, that's why I was so certain. But you, because usually we have a 95% certainty that people stick within their own party, math, you know, over time. So that that's the only thing that I went on. Um, boy, I was kind of shocked. I told you it was a coin toss-up still. 
Yeah, you did, but I mean, you, you were that was more of a hunch. I was. No, I was going by the statistical data, and it it really was too many things were a coin toss up that this was a very probable outcome. How do you enjoy the electoral college now? <laughs> I do. No, 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 hell no. I back it no matter what. <laughs> See, I will stand there. I don't care. Romney can win the popular vote and lose electoral, and I will stand by it. Yeah, that's totally not that's not what this one said. This one was going on and on about it earlier today, and now he's like, "Well, it broke in the right way for once." <laughs> no, well, no. I, honestly, I believe the electoral college should be dispensed with. I don't know why people want that. Why do you want a few states dictating for the rest? This state is built constitutionally on state power. Th that, th it is a representative republic. In other words, the that is true. But who 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 elects the state representatives? The people. The people. So is it not the same? Sure. So the is people. it not the same? If majority of the people wanted, uh, let's say Romney, would not be the same as saying majority of the electorals should have voted for Romney? No, not necessarily. No. No. Well, I mean, and, uh, more then we have people to argue in Texas before. could have voted. In other words, the intensity of Republican states was obviously great. Meaning that more of uh, more repubs voted this year than than last, and more so because the polls did say that the intensity was on the Republican side. So that means that the red states became even redder, uh, and giving Romney that popular vote. But that doesn't that you cannot say the math means just because the popular vote is is equal to the state vote. No, if some if Texas now votes just I'm just giving hypothetically. Let's say we were there at. 42% in 08, and now they're at 52%, uh, then that gives that many more votes to, to Romney on the populist side, but Texas only has so much representation to the country. And I don't believe Texas politics should be New York politics or California politics or vice versa. I am a wholehearted believer in state power and, and the states and what they represent. I just, I, the problem that I'm having with the way the current country is going is that Obama and you for the Democrats want to make it more federal power, and I don't, and I, I think it does a disservice to the poor people. I, and I'm not talking about social issues because usually I side with Democrats on social issues. My my thing is really just hardcore economics in that it doesn't make sense to have blanket policies when we all have different. Democrats oh well, you 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 don't care. You do you you against helping people. <laughs> So I'm just saying that it's it's to me no I still back to the electoral college look we you know the, part of my ideology lost tonight okay that, that that's 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 I, the, my economics the economic side of what I wanted lost okay uh, and now put the dog on the talk. internet <laughs> Here, what are you saying you know, you said, know what sucks my wife told me as soon as I told her she looked at me and she goes you know what's happening I said no. She's in taxes, and she says as soon as 2013 hits, Obama had added a sales tax, a federal sales tax, so that when we sell our home, 3% of the sale as a sales tax has to go to the federal government. Yep. So now that kind of inhibits people. Now we don't, do we not have to worry about closing costs? We have to worry about a stupid fucking federal sales tax on it. These are the stupid things. And I know why he's wanting to do it. Is he's wanting to take it and to make, make up for the toxic assets that they should have never acquired federally to begin with. But oh, like assets like Puerto Rico? <laughs> that sort of, that sort of type of yeah, asset? can you tell this one doesn't want a 51st state? <laughs> when they backed Freddie, uh, when they backed Freddie, uh, uh, and, uh, and Freddie, Freddie, and, uh, and the uh, toxic mortgage assets of the banks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, because they use tax law for that. And I'm sure they're, they're going to be doing that. So I'm, I'm sure because we're, we've lost billions of dollars in the GM deal, we'll probably have some sort of federal tax on cars to make up the tax dollars on that, which is just Well, the, well can I have a question on that? Because that's only American cars. Is that no reverse tariff to incentivize you to buy foreign? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that just increases the tariffs on the foreign to keep that from happening. Come on, we gotta think smarter about this. Uh, yeah, but how do you pass that overnight through the legislator? You know, I'm just saying, you know, because that's a separate law. <laughs> it is ironic because North Carolina went back to uh, 
to the Republicans, and so did Indiana. Both of those states were Obama before. I know, but uh, only by two percent. Yeah. And, no, and, uh, I, I mean, look, okay, let's honestly look at the map here and the sheer number of states that, I mean, let's just go through it. Fifth, okay, clear call, clear call, uh, less than 2% difference, less than 2%, less than 2%. Yeah, it was very close. Oh, oh, I yeah. did way better than we came. Yeah, it's. I mean, popular-wise, it, it's so damn fucking close. It, this is literally a 50-50 split, damn near. Of yeah. A, yeah it, like I said, look, you know, the the, Dem the, the people spoken. You know, uh, they they spoken, and that's that's. Well, that's, yes, they yeah. have spoken for Romney, but the electoral college has spoken for Obama. Obama. Therefore, Four more years, years of bullshit. Like I said, no matter who and wins. Not, and not only that, but if, the, if, if it was the truly the, the, speak, the people speaking, it would we would have Romney right now. If it was truly it was an Obama the people. Supporter, right? Huh? You're an Obama supporter, right? I'm against the Electoral College, though. So basically, both of you have had your ethics compromised tonight, which is really funny. Both of you have lost and won. <laughs> Yes, I'm a, I support no, Obama. Listen, the, 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 I hate the electoral dollars. Your, to, what, what can I call your roommate over the air? Um, what do you want to be called on? Big Pop. No, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> call him Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. Um, the, 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 the Constitution is strictly written to limit federal power. And the Tenth Amendment is strictly there as a definition. Oh, that so was that. just a guideline. They didn't know what they were doing. It's <laughs> 200 like years later. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, uh, it's t t to me, it's uh, I will always be a fan of the Electoral College. I think it's it is it is an inherent to what our Constitution provides us with power. And me personally, what? I am no, dead. No, wait, 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 Romney did not close the deal. That's all there is to it. You know, what? Republicans didn't do well on from like the, the 1960s. They they won with Nixon um, after LBJ, but that was. You know, uh, I, I don't want to get caught up in Republican or Democrat party politics. On the Electoral College, mm -hmm. um, it, honestly, I'm personally right down the middle 50-50 divided because I hate when the American people's will is one thing and the bureaucracy but, of the... However, right. however, however, the other part of me is like, well, the electoral is adamantly part of the check process to keep us from, to keep the mob rule from leading us astray. And the reality is these divides come apart because people aren't voting. The electoral points are assessed by, so if, if the majority of people who can vote would vote. But that's true, but the electoral <laughs> college votes based on, they're pretty well supposed to vote based upon how their precincts vote. Yeah, they're, they're basically saying Obama won, but with no mandate, which is true. Uh, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. Electoral College is supposed to vote, vote the way the, the people vote. Well, this isn't like that one election where like 90% of the country voted one way and the electoral voted the other exactly. way. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't think, and not only that, there's another grievance I have Electoral College. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Look, I, I don't think I don't think any one person should have two votes, and that's essentially what you're saying. You're saying the electoral college, on a professional level, have this vote, but they also have a personal vote. So that's two votes right there. No, no, no. No. No, yeah. no that that is Enron math right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't say it was good math. It's my math. <laughs> there but, is no. There is no real personal vote. You have the reason the, the, the popular vote is inconsequential other than to say the intensity like for instance when Gore won the popular vote in two thousand at Los Electoral College, the blue states and those that came out were were more intense for him. And so that let's just say hypothetically you had very red states this time have much larger voter turnout. Yeah. To, to vote for their candidate, that doesn't mean that that should inflect their position on a blue state. Well, and no, and say really the only way to to say that issue fully, Sean, would be get all those people in the American people who who are registered to vote but don't, and we know two of them personally, yeah. <laughs> um, who whose official stance is I'm not going to vote. 
and they're who screw it up because they're registered and therefore they earn electoral points, but they don't ever vote. <laughs> I can't believe it. Romney is at 49% in Hamilton uh, County of Ohio. He was down to 32 earlier. He's now literally split the vote with yeah. Romney. Yeah, it, it, 49.3 versus 49. It, all it, people, those of you in the United States, if you weren't paying attention to the election, go through the states and look at how they split. Use Politico, use Real Clear, you, you know, use whatever. Use whatever site. They're all resigned. The date will be up there. They're so super close. But literally, half the American people wanted one, half wanted the other. The electoral decided it. The popular was ever so slightly by less than a million. Well, we're not. It's still not. We're talking about less than fifty thousand. Well, is keeping a slight lead, of, but not very much. Yeah, I, I'm saying literally less than a million. Uh, it, it, it actually it's considerably smaller than that. Two hundred five thousand Yeah. Two hundred five thousand and one six. We don't have the final numbers yet, so I'm saying less than a million because they'll probably be they're going to change by the time. Morning I'm rolls around. Florida and Virginia and Ohio changed that. I mean, but no, Colorado just got called. So Colorado just so it doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't matter. So yeah. Colorado just got called. Yeah, and I didn't think it would. I was looking at their counties and, and no, that's and, that's a pretty democratic state, you know. Hey, look, it, it's been off and on. It, it's been a Republican, and, but see, I, I, this, yeah. What's funny though in Florida, in your state, even political polls said Romney had that state. And that's why they didn't, camp they didn't campaign as much there as they have in the, the, uh, the, mid the There's like political Ohio, polls, and then there's going around talking to all the people who don't answer their phone and say, God damn it, and I can tell you. Should, you know, Romney should have, you know, he should have just not tried Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. He should have used the resources perhaps maybe in Colorado. Or, or Iowa even more? A bit. It wouldn't have been enough. Literally, what? as this map turns out, uh, Romney needed California, which was never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Although, it, you know what? This shows how divided the country is on this. That California is 10 points. It, it's, yeah. it's really... For California, damn near... So, yeah. Well, not only that, well, California is only reporting 15.3%, so we still have 83.7%. No, no <laughs> yeah, that. You know what? I, I, I'm going to need a drink in the morning if I wake up and California went Romney. <laughs> I'm going to go, okay, I am officially an anti Earth. <laughs> I'm just interested to see who changes their. Uh, Changes their, you know, who changed their. You know, it looks like maybe Virginia's not going to go around at this point. Um, I don't think there's enough room. Uh, e even if all of these 50 50 states go Romney? Yeah, things are changing in Virginia. It used to be a solid red state. It used to be very solid. Let's see. It's not, but the Delta is very tiny. But still, I don't think it'll go. Uh, well, but it's not enough. For, like, it's only 13 points. Yeah, but. but I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, Colorado just got shut down, but I'm just saying those that went to bed and saw Ohio reversing, uh, the chances just went away, because even even winning Florida, Virginia, and Ohio, he needed, he, he would need Iowa or Colorado to, I was, I was pretty certain just by the, by the numbers that Iowa would have, would have gone, Ohio, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, did what I thought it would do, and I really thought Florida was solid. And even to Democrat pollsters, it was uh, a, a good a, 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 As of question. last week, everybody, everywhere admitted, you got a coin? Flip it. <laughs> still hasn't been called, though, which is weird. Well, look at how close. It, for, 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 for those who wonder why bit's going on about uh, Florida, it is literally less than 50,000 votes. It It is... Yeah, it, it, it's... Yeah, but so is Ohio. Ohio is only 4,000 votes. Different demographic. Yeah. Your votes take a long time. Let me tell you. Take you, about you, it. Like, like, it speeds up. Like, you get up to, like, 78% quickly. And then from there, just... 
It's like a snail's thing. Well, because there's early voting and there's not and us not. And then there's, um, how, how many hours did it? Three hours. Three point, I don't know, three, point, three hours, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. It took me to vote today. Damn. They only Damn. had one, literally one machine in the place. In the precinct. There was hundreds of people in line. And one Good machine. Good for, for sitting in line and voting, though. I, I, I admire people going out and, and doing that, even though you, uh, uh, you know, probably voted for Obama. The uh, well, I'll tell you what I did. I voted for Obama for the presidency, and then I voted Republican for everything else. He was trying. He was trying to gridlock things. <laughs> well, you know what? I admire people that do that and, and, and vote. That's 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 the beauty of this country because. God forbid we lose that right and become... Well, it, and, and I don't get the people who, like, literally forcibly give up that right and try and talk other people into doing the same. Yeah. I, 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 my official policy is not vote or die. It's vote or shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can agree with that. I agree with that. I, I do know people that, that are, are like that. They don't want to vote. Uh, then shut the yeah. fuck up. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But, you know, we, we, we have what we have. You know, what can... It was... I'll tell you, this was damn close. This was definitely not 2008, though. I will say... Oh, no, no, no. This... Uh, and uh, I... Yeah. Now, the interesting thing here is how do we think about the way the Senate and the House shaped up? The House increased its Republican strength. Yeah. The Senate increased Democrats. Yep. They were the inverse of each other. Well, Which but... Weird. but See, now, Congress is a special reality because you could say that the, the way that the House of Representatives works is actually a, a truer representative republic uh, of the highest form that we can produce. And that is interesting that it became stronger republic. Um, However, the most it can do is delay the Senate. It can't stop it, as we were talking about well, earlier. Well, you know... My wife has looked at me and she's, you know, she was really pissed and she told me about the tax of the house and now the taxes that are, that will be starting to come, um, the raised taxes. And oh, wrong. Uh, uh, oh, oh di di didn't, didn't you listen? Romney's going to raise your taxes. Obama's going to lower them. Come on. She's smoking something. <laughs> I wish, I wish they put tax, you know, tax people up there and tell them, hey, because the tax people actually get the reports far earlier because they have to get trained and certified on it to be able to do it for you. Yeah, I know. And, uh, I, I, I'm going to laugh. In, I, there's, there's waves hitting in 2013, 2014, and 2016 mm -hmm. that at, I, I, the reaction of the American people to these things is going to be very, very interesting. <laughs> you know that there's 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 this guy that I kept watching and I knew he was full of shit. This, his name was Dick Morris. He kept I, I, I literally watched him the other night saying that there was gonna be a landslide for for Ron. He was like three something. I was like this guy's smoking pot. You know, or, or, how could he how could he you know possibly come up with that number? Uh, you know, like that. And um, I, I I I was honestly <laughs> I, I'll be dead honest. I knew it was a coin toss, but I was expecting if the popular contradicted the um, point, I, the electoral point, I was expecting it to be the other way around. Um, I was expecting it, if that happened, to be a Romney-Obama slight majority. I, I, would, yeah, I really believe in a Romney 272 electoral Well, it's not going to matter anyway because Obama's only 40,000 votes shy of the popular vote. Oh no, it's literally less than a point yeah. difference. It's so damn close. It, 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 he, he, may, he may take the popular vote at this point. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see. I don't think he's going to. I will. Because Alaska and... You honestly think Alaska's going to vote Obama? Oh, yeah. Oh no. No. Definitely not. Um, man, they still haven't called your state. That's interesting. There, well, there's no point now. There's no incentive. I still like to know because because the, the, the polls themselves, even Democrat leading polls, had them. Well, okay, check in Monday when they get done counting them. <laughs> it, dude, nothing's computerized. Mm. It's all paper ballots. 
there's still plenty of them not even in the polling office to count from absentee and overseas and other yeah. stuff that are going to be counted over the week. <laughs> I can't, okay, now Ohio's breaking a little more school pop at this point. Yeah. Not by much. But, dude, that is 1%. That's a huge difference. Uh, I mean, for, I think the exact number was Obama won that state. L let me ask a question. Romney has officially conceded, right? No. I don't know. I didn't hear it, did he? I haven't no. heard that yet. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's, so he's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that really? Is it, he hasn't not he has it, Yeah, okay. Uh, I, honestly, why, I don't think it's going to happen. If I were him, I'd sleep on it. I would too. I, it's because it's so <laughs> fucking close. It's close. It's not going to happen, I, but it's so fucking close. I don't think anything's going to change. You know, congratulations. You know, to the to the Democrats, they put out a good effort, and that's the end of it. I mean, I'm not sure I'd call it a good I'm effort afraid. because I I honestly it, I'm not I'm not bitter about it. I'm not you know and I'm not one of these Republicans that's bitter about it. But oh 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 oh! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Okay. Bit bit! You were talking about using kids by the Democrats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have no wait wait wait. Have you seen the Republican? I pledge allegiance to China. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> Let me try to find it. Yeah, because uh, you were talking about the Democrats using kids, and it was low and sad. It was sad. It, the, the Republicans did the same fucking thing this week. No shit. Oh no. He, 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 hold on. He's pull, Hold on. He's pulling it up. He's gonna play it. That's only a link. I don't want to hear. I'm trying to see. Let me see. Is it a commercial? Yeah. Yes. It's a commercial. Yeah. Let's see if this Yeah, hold on. Uh, I gotta find it, hold on. I go on. Yeah, it, it, yeah, literally they're using a bunch of grade schoolers to, to push the Republican agenda. Okay, so it's called, it's called... I pledge allegiance to America's dead. Pretty much. That's the name of it. That's sad. Yeah, it's got a bunch of grade schoolers. I think they were all white, actually. No, there's one token. There's one token. <laughs> it's going, uh, you know, I pledge allegiance to the nation's dead or something like that. It's it's bad. Find it. It's right here. Yeah, no, yeah, here, play it. Yeah, I don't have I don't have volume. Uh, send me the link. I'll pull it up. I got volume. Allegiance to China. Yeah, allegiance to America's dead. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. To just send it to, to me. America's Dead. Oh, it's called the Feet the Debt Pledge commercial? Oh, I'm sending it to uh, the... Yeah. I told, it's, I told you both sides do it. <laughs> Hold on, I want to know who did this. Much of that debt is owed to foreign governments. No two defeat the debt without government. Okay, so this is defeat the debt. Okay, wait a minute. Who is defeat the debt dot com? Who is this? defeat the debt dot com? Are they? At... Who are they? I need to know who they are, because uh, are they an official super pack? Because the other. No. The, uh, the other commercials were actually a, a official super packs. Are they? Yeah, and, most of them are. Uh, yeah, because on the Dem side, they were official super packs. Who is the? Who? I never even heard these people defeat the debt. Okay, what is the debt? No, I, I want to know who you are about. Well, they're the they're the anti-China movement. Reducing your budget difficulty is okay, but this says nothing on who you are. Why would uh, they give that information out? That would let you come hurt them. <laughs> are these people? It's just an email. I I don't even. I, I are they? I don't think they're a super PAC. Well, no. then their ads illegal. <laughs> Well, they can produce any commercial they want, but yeah, that's they not. Can that's, that's okay. Free. That sucks, and, and I can, and I and I condemn that because I don't I don't like the use of children. Um, to, 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 to oh come on! You pledge allegiance to the debt, 
and higher taxes. This is the American pledge. Come on, didn't you know this? That economically, people confuse what the, what the hell the debt, what debt is what debt. I know. You know yeah. so. uh, I think we should vote George Carlin. A dead man can't serve. Who, who, would, you know, who would his vice president, how, who would he nominate for his vice president, which would swear in the moment he's elected? <laughs> Chris Hutchinson, the office. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, but then, oh. both of them are dead, shit. <laughs> Where's oh. that last year? So Mitt Romney got Barack Obama elected. We have 51 states. Anything else changed tonight? I'm still human, right? <laughs> it was 53,000 vote delta in Florida currently. Well, Tom's, like the other roommate said, you want to make some money, invest in flags. Yeah, that's true. For anybody who's looking to make a quick buck, invest in flags and maps. Flags and maps. Because <laughs> we need well, to... Ohio stalled at 83%. Whoa, Colorado. How the hell did that happen? Colorado's within... It was a, a five-point spread. is now a two-point spread. Uh, I still got three. It depends who you're looking at. What's your vote tally? Obama has uh, one million and Romney at uh, 952,000. Oh, man, man. I got Obama winning the populist now. Do you? I haven't checked that populist. Let okay. me see. Yeah, the populist. Let's see. Yeah, yeah barely. Barely. Yeah. He's got it. Well, you're, you're re vindicated, Bit. And, Stephen, your argument is now moot. That you were arguing against yourself. <laughs> Do you need a formidable opponent? Do we need to put you in the other chair also? You know, that's... I am my greatest opponent. <laughs> uh, Alright, moving on from the uh, romnification and the Obama factor. Uh, we know how you feel about our 51st state. And I don't know how long this is going to take to happen. I don't know if it's a bad thing. I mean, th but see, that's the thing. States, now, yes, you, if your point is is that the way the direction that, that we're going is that the federal authority is becoming more and more and seeming to bail out states. And if that's the case, and yeah, it sucks, then it, would, it wouldn't be a good thing. But see, I still have hope that the states are, uh, you know, still the... the Still should be the main power. Well, and the, the Puerto the, Rico had three options uh, yeah. tonight. They could have elected to maintain the status <laughs> quo, which probably wasn't going to happen, uh, according to all the data. They could have elected to become a state, which is what they chose, or they could have chosen independence. Uh, apparently, they think it's better to be a state in the United States than to stand on their own. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, the United States, the United States have to accept them officially as a state before it even goes anywhere? Well, this isn't going to be an overnight po uh, process, but I mean, they've been eligible to vote for statehood within the rules of the U.S. for some time. I well, mean, what traditionally is supposed to happen is uh, a territory come to the United States and, and ask to be a, a state. What has happened in this case for the last 10 years or so, the U.S. has been begging Puerto Rico to, to be a state. state. It, it basically, it was. It basically, this is going to be probably the fastest well, blah it, blah. It, it is a state already. It's passed. They well, well, already, wait, wait, wait a minute. They've already elected their governor. So how, when did they elect their senators? I have no idea, but the governor's been elected already. You realize this means every middle school and elementary school student now remembers the wrong number of senators. <laughs> Exact and wrong number of states. Yep. We got 51 now. No, but it means Obama was right when he said we had 51 states. <laughs> he was a fucking precog. <laughs> exactly. Oh, listen to this. Obama calls woman who doesn't know who he is. Oh, no. 
There's a video on this. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most problem in this country. Dude, that's Check insane. Check real quick. This is about something else. The Drudge Report has the Liberty Bell, and it says the divided states of America. Yeah, it, You know what's going to make... You know what I fear, though? It's going to become even more bitter. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, I, it, I know a lot of Republicans that are just going to... Now it's like... Now it means war. You know, even more. Well, you know what? Okay, to to give credit to this freaking thing, there are Republicans. I, I was hearing this as far back as January and February of this year, who were going, "We, no, it's wrong to nominate Mitt Romney because he's too conservative, and he ain't gonna win. He'll get he'll get a core vote, but he isn't gonna win." He can't win. The American people, the independents won't put up with him. And then after he got the nomination, there were Republicans for about 40 days coming out of the woodwork going, you know what, just let that go because when these freaking conservatives see that he loses, maybe they'll listen to us. They'd pretty much accepted that the Republicans weren't going to win the election. Well, I mean, honestly, who, who other option did they have? That, that could have put on the effort that Romney did. They didn't have one. Mm. Well, Romney's probably did better than McCain, that's for sure. Well, anybody <coughs> could have done better than McCain. Hey, I would have, hey, hey. I might be. <coughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Wait a minute. You prefer Obama to Romney, but you like McCain. No, I don't like McCain. No, he does. This one, the Obama file, likes McCain. Look, I am not a hardcore Dem. I am a, a Republican. I like to call myself independent. I fluctuate. Now, the first time, I was kind of worried about his, his health. Yeah, he's Darth Vader. Yeah, he's Darth Vader. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I, I don't know about that. Because honestly, I didn't know if he was going to die. Stress of the job. Well, it just would have meant you would have had the first woman president. Well, that is true. Well, and I damn sure knew CNN I didn't want Virginia Sarah Palin. For, uh, CNN called Virginia for Obama, but uh, other ballots <coughs> have not. But it, it, it does look like Obama won Virginia. That's, that's crazy. Wow. Virginia used to be really solid red for so many years, and that's it. I think a lot of people move. You know what I think happens, though, which is funny? is a lot of people move out of states that have high taxes and they're normally Democrats and inhabit red states with low taxes to escape their own, tax, their own taxes that they vote for to stay from. I don't know anybody and who then, done And then that. they change the voting I know a lot of people who've done that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. He says he doesn't know anybody who does that as he points to himself. <laughs> but see, and then you, but I'm going to tell you, there will be a point that if everything goes blue in the United States, you're not going to be a state you can run from. Well, no, that's the to. thing. I well, mean, but you can run to to avoid But, that. Marcel, what you're getting on is the fact that we have states in the union who are using the federal authority to have other states subsidize the fact that they're broke. Yeah. And it works great as long as there are enough states that are in the black to cover the states that are in the red. But... Like any mechanism you run that way, eventually, you're fucked. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just. I also guess Carl Rove is going to have to eat some crow. Because he predicted, I think he predicted uh, his own uh, states map. I think he was, he was dead wrong. I give him credit because. I know a lot of Democrats don't like him, but I mean, as a family, I mean, as a campaign manager, he did run two successful campaigns. Um, you know, this is probably the most confusing thing about a U.S. election. I'm sitting here looking at the map, hmm. and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay. 23, holy shit. I think we might actually have 25, 25 divide in the states. Because there's 23 with two outstanding. 
this? So the, Dem the Democrats have picked up what? So all oh, the Senate is actually becoming. So the Republicans have so far only lost one seat in the Senate. Yeah, Can't the Senate game, but, but and there's the outstanding seats. And Puerto so, Rico's now. Now, do we think Puerto Rico's senators are going? You know what? You know, I'm gonna tell you what killed two senators was this whole rape comment, both in Indiana and Missouri. Oh, you know, easily like, about the whole abortion thing with rape. And, and you know, we've had a long abortion discussion where, to me, you know. Oh, bet you're telling me you don't believe a woman's body can defend itself naturally. From... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I can't get through the comment. <laughs> and I love the. You know, and the thing of it is, is that. that I clearly get what the guy was trying to get at, but he wants that as a, as a policy. That's not a policy. No, no, yeah. no, no. He, no, literally, he he had read the freaking pamphlets, and he thought they were fact. And then, it was really funny, he never actually apologized for that. He's interviewed at least in four different places going, that is a fact I had been told. That guy just wants to uh, retire. I don't know, I mean, I mean, the guy obviously hasn't visited enough hospitals to where the rape victims uh, obviously get pregnant. Now I know where some of some of what he was was coming from. Of course, there's traumatic experiences. Uh, God forbid, it's, it's it, you know it's that traumatic where where our bodies, male or female, you know, have countermeasures to do whatever. But that doesn't mean that women aren't going to get pregnant because it's a, a, a quote unquote legitimate rape. I mean. It's crazy. Now, if he wants to pick on, if he wants to pick on the aspect of so many, so many women, which are out there that in falsely claim rape. Uh, well, and, outlaw and, you know, abortion had, unless it was a true rape is only going to increase. Yeah, no, I, I, I tend to agree with him. You want to <laughs> see the cl the rape claims go through the fucking roof? Say the only way to get an abortion is you were raped. Oh, um, well, um. I couldn't admit this at the time, but I was raped. Why didn't you report it? <laughs> I was too traumatic. Yeah, you have a point. And not only that, does anybody know the, the, the outcome of that proposition to what? an amendment? What amendment? What one about the abortion. Abortion is, is legal. What do you mean amendment? There was an amendment? There, there was an amendment uh, to basically amend so uh, taxpayer dollars could not in any way, shape, or form fund an abortion. If somebody was eligible for medical coverage, abortions would be exempt. Yeah, it would have been a local amendment. And no, we don't know yet. We're going to find that out next no, week. No, that wasn't local. It wasn't a state, was it? No, it's a state thing. It's a I state. Was it? Those amendments were all state. And there were some screwy ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a shit ton of them. Yeah. I, I mean, it's crazy, you know. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I, a lot of, a lot of, a lot, of, and I, and I, I have a respect for people that are very religious, but a lot sometimes, sometimes, what you believe. Yeah, you know, well, uh, ben, I, I, I'm going to tell you flat point on the, on the constitutional religious freedom thing where I stand on it. And I'm going to tell you point blank. Setting the ethics, setting the issue, setting everything else aside for a minute. If somebody's going to stand up and tell me that they're being religiously oppressed because they're allowing somebody else to make a choice that contradicts their religion, their argument just defeated itself. Exactly. Because they're saying somebody else cannot follow a different religion or it's unconstitutional. And I'm like, I'm sorry, your argument counters and, itself. And, 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 say, and another thing is, we're not forcing these individuals to have abortions. Abortions are completely Please. and totally Bob. voluntary. Which means if your religion says abortion is wrong, don't get one! Exactly. <laughs> The Jewish law is that you're commanded to have an abortion if the, woman, the mother's life is in, is in danger, actually. But the that's life not... Life of the fetus is only... But equal. that's not the U.S. law. That's... No, I know. But I'm saying it's, that differs greatly from Christian points of view. I know, and, that, and that's that's what you guys are talking. About. Well, yeah, I know, and if and if you and if you make the laws of the United States Christian, then any religion which 
has a different point of view than the Christian one is being oppressed. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> they say Ronnie's going to speak for a minute. Oh, is it? He, he doesn't have a chance. I think he was waiting for Virginia or whatever, maybe. Uh, he did, well, he just didn't want to be seen that as... That called Florida, didn't I? No. Did they call Florida yet? Is it called on this? It's not called on this one. I got a call. I don't have a call yet. Neither Virginia or not. Well, Fox is not calling it. CNN is calling it. I got See, that's the funny thing. Half are calling, half are not. It's not called here. It's not called here. It's called on AOL. Virginia is called on CNN. Every state except for Alaska and Florida, and Florida's know, called on half. We know where Alaska is. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Virginia is called on CNN, but not on Fox. Virginia's called Democrat here. Yeah. Is it mm -hmm. really? It's called it's it being called Democrat by Politico, by Real Clear. By I have no idea how many counties were actually Republican in Wisconsin. There's a lot of red in Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin is, is uh, okay. a little bit like, and there's only 70. I'm, I'm curious to see how close some of these states do become eventually. You know, I'm curious. You know how the polls didn't tell me. Here we go. Let's see what he's going to say. Yeah, turn that up. I'm going to tell you that the guy was selling out stadiums everywhere. It's, it's a phenomenal that, that he lost. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so very much. Thank you. He must, this guy, he must be the still, like, holy crap. I, I bet you he's shot. I don't know. I don't know what's the term. You don't run if you think you're going to lose. Yeah, I yeah Ben Romney's already told Obama he's going to see him. His victory, his supporters, and his campaign also deserve congratulations. I wish all of them well, but particularly the president, the first lady, and their daughters. This is a time of great challenges for America, and I pray that the president will be successful in guiding our nation. Donald Trump called for revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that last bit? Bit. What? Did you hear that last one? No, Donald Trump has called for a revolution. Oh God. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Donald Trump has called for a revolution. And we shall call it the comb over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys how it's true, though. You know, some of the policies early on, like midterm wise in Obama, were pissing off some states. Vermont was, con you know, even had uh, considered seceding and stuff. I, I know there was talk in Texas that didn't. I know uh, Vermont, you, I you know what? By the end of the year, we may have 52 states if Florida creates South Florida. <laughs> now my, you know, but no, no, my curiosity, though, uh, in all seriousness now, uh, is, is how is this Obamacare going to play out? The Supreme Court only granted power for taxation, but not through the Commerce Clause. That means Medicaid can't be expanded. So I'm very curious on how... Well, right now how it works out is it's not economically balanced. It wasn't really to begin with, but it's even less so now. Some states will get, some won't. And uh, the other thing that's going to come into challenge is once the tax is enacted, I wouldn't be surprised if all the same states that petitioned petition again to challenge the tax. Yeah. Once it, in other words, once they pay the tax. Exactly, because they can't do it until they're actually build it. Pay the tax first and I'll take it to the Supreme Court. Exactly. And I can honestly see that because that's literally what the Supreme is like, it's not an issue before the court at the moment. And it can't be until you Right. And, and that's the one thing Obama never got. The Romney's model that he's using is meant for a state level, not a federal level. It's meant for state budgets and state demographics. It's meant, and it's as what he said, it was a state by state basis, which I have no problem with. But it's a very different thing when you start making something a federal authority exerting power on states, which is a very different kind of uh, argument. Um, let's see what he said. Victoring and political posturing. Our leaders have to reach across the aisle to do the people's work. 
And we citizens also have to rise to the occasion. We look to our teachers and professors. We count on you not just to teach, but to inspire our children with a passion for learning and discovery. Yeah, the audience, yes, Rabbis and counselors of all kinds to testify of the enduring principles upon which our society is built. Honesty, charity, integrity, and family. We look to our parents. From the final analysis, everything depends on the success of our homes. We look to job creators of all kinds. We're counting on you to invest, to hire, to step forward. And we look to them. You know, I called every election from 2000, 2004, 2008 correctly, but this one I missed. I haven't missed one yet. <laughs> You know what sucks though? This election set the bar for billion dollar campaigns, which is sick. Yeah. yeah. Concerned about America. This election is over, but our principles endure. I believe that the principles upon which this nation was founded are the only sure guide to a resurgent economy and to a new great. Do you think his religion hurt him? Yeah, because I know people. Uh, I'm not going to say who. The evangelicals didn't show up. So in other words, you're telling me, in order, see, that's what makes me mad. So in other words, what you're telling me uh, is that we can't get people to come out just solely on the economy, like on the religious side. In other words, you have to have another Bush 43 that goes up there and says Jesus is his master, God, you know, that he believes in. I forget the question that was asked to him. But it, he, he basically said, uh, I think it was like, who, who do you look up to or the book or whatever in, in, in Bush 43 had said Jesus Christ. That's fine. That's great. Okay, I respect his, his, his beliefs and all that. And, um, and and then the evangelicals came out of the woodwork. But I guess they just didn't. Uh... No, I mean, think of that freaking Facebook thing. We, we were reading it as a joke. But that Facebook thing going around earlier about Mormonism. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm sorry. Mormonism really did hurt Mitt Romney a lot. Um, it's partly because... Yeah. It's partly because it's one of the kookier Christian, quote, not considered Christian Christian religions, uh, and it's because uh, the reality is most of the American people are pretty ignorant as to what Mormonism actually believes in. <laughs> and here's my question. What happens to all the campaign money that's left over that's donated to these guys? I think they get to keep it. What? No. No. Campaign no. what? Do they get to keep their campaign money? What happens to their campaign money now? Uh, they have to uh, file taxes on it, and most of them give it to charity, actually. Yeah, but they're or, not required to. No. Uh, yeah, I think it goes to them as income. Yeah. Okay, so they, okay, they're going to pay a lot of taxes. Right. right, well, unless they donate it to charity. Donate just to, it to charity, or if they plan to run publicly in the future, they can roll it over. Right, they can roll it over to a future campaign. Yeah. Has, has Obama spoken yet? Not that I'm aware of. That doesn't mean he hasn't. Uh, he hasn't spoken. He you know, tweeted Obama, his uh, wife four more years. Yes. Oh, he seems to me, you know, some of the things he says are just cooking sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. He, he, over the years since he was elected, I don't know, because, you know, I very much liked him in LA. He just got cookier and cookier. Yeah. So, uh, Mitt, that was it for Mitt. Boy, everybody looks pissed in that room. Uh, it, you, know, you, you have to give... But you know what? Barack Obama should personally thank Mitt Romney. I stand by my statement. He's the man... Chris Christie is the guy who got Romney. You, you think the New Jersey governor endorsing Obama from the hurricane? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna tell you, Hurricane Sandy froze the election. It is interesting if if Sandy never hit the United States, what would it what, what would it be? Okay, I'm if you have a lens into that parallel Earth, let me know. Does that mean Puerto Rico is not a state in that? <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious though, because yeah, it was, yeah, Chris Christie. It's like he almost knew the writing on a wall. Some people said. Yeah. Well, no, I, although, honestly, I, I thought I would be more interested in the election. I'm, I'm really more interested in the reshaping of our legislator 
and the Puerto Rico integration. Okay, Obama should come out. I'm waiting for Obama to come out. Let's see. He hasn't come out. I think he waited for the. I think he waited for Romney con to concede. So. Well, yeah, we wanted to make sure we don't have another Bush Gordon. <laughs> oh, thank God we don't have that. You know what? I was. Yeah. Well, I think Bush should have won. You know, like I said, I I really like the Roman Way. I don't I don't uh, I, I guess I can't I ideologically relate to Oh come on, just drink the Kool-Aid like the other half of the nation. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Know, economically as well. Um, uh, I, I could I could argue all day economically. You know, like they want to tout GM. Yeah, but we're, you're billions. Of, in other words, in other words, the tax dollars that you that you lost in saving GM could actually make all their employees millionaires. A so bit, bit. I am literally going to tell you something you don't want to hear. That? And that is, and this has been consistent with 90% of people I have come across who want to vote for Barack Obama, and that is the general reality is most of the American people, um, I, don't call uh, me they, racial. No, 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 it, that, no, that's not it. It's the, um, their understanding of the economic thing, they honestly th think that whoever got elected didn't stand a chance in hell and that the dust needed to settle before anything could get done and so they basically think this is now day one so oh, they so feel sorry they feel they, it, it, they feel sorry for and they feel now he can finally do what he wanted to do so they do buy the four more years argument and it's um, it, it, it's one of those, but it feels like this. Mm. Uh, and it, the problem is with a feels like argument, it doesn't matter how many facts, how many statistics, how many other things you want with, because you can't override the well. It feels like, because it still feels like, <laughs> no matter what you talk about, it still feels like. <laughs> Maryland has uh. Approved same-sex marriage. Oh, here we come. Now the Republicans are going to want an amendment. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think marriage should be... See, that's my problem with it. it oh, we've, be, we've had this argument. Marriage yeah. should never have gotten intertwined with the legal yeah. entity. It should have stayed I, I, it, separate. It could, there should be a, a... In other words, from the government's point of view, it should just be a contract between... If it's two gays, two heterosexuals in love, you know, that are truly married via a church or it, it, it should be a civil it, it should be a contract for a household and it doesn't matter what it is. I exactly. mean it, technically it, 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 our exactly reverse right. threes company here should qualify. Exactly. It's it just <laughs> the composition of the contract shouldn't be the uh, <laughs> I firmly believe Republic, uh, many Republicans that came out just because of the math of their only votes uh, voted for Obama. I, I think a lot of people just did not trust Mitt Romney. Maybe he was just too like. I know this is why I, this is why I give Mitt Romney credit for Barack Obama's election. I know you can, I give the other guy credit too, but honestly, it, there's there's Republic like he's saying there's Republicans who are like it's Mitt Romney. <laughs> well, Mitt Romney is shady. He is. Just no, like, just like he, I don't think he's. A, I don't he, think he's. Look, I don't think he's shady. But uh, I think in a down economy, people are going to vote. Maybe perhaps can't relate to a guy who I think did make his his living fair and square. Uh, but that is not, that's just not something that they want to relate. But to. it doesn't feel that. No, way. I'm talking about shadiness, as in when when this Hurricane Sandy came across. Where did he do his photo op, like pretending to help the Northeastern residents? He did get to, he donated to the Red Cross, but he didn't. The thing of it is, it's delicate because last time he tried to help out, he got slammed acid. You're not the, you're not the commander in chief. 
That's Obama's job. So I think he. Well, has no, a, he a had vehicles yep. shipped to Ohio where he was, and he did I a co-op there. Like I he don't was think he's helping. Exactly all with that, Steve. I think that's just a very tricky ground <laughs> to walk on. It's just it's tricky. <laughs> that's a tricky ground. It's because he's been damned for doing and damned for not. Yeah, I understand that. Obama in the house. Obama in the house. Obama in the house. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, that's what I started singing. No, I was about to say, that's all the shit. We're going all out over here. My, my parents are so depressed, I can't even tell you. Uh, are they? I know. Terrible. Uh, yeah, because they go, they, when, I, when I call them, I say, well, the, the, 2008, the, the 2008 model is holding. And they say, damn it, I know it. I, I, I could tell early on. Early on, when the numbers were coming in, I was out for it. Because either the 2008 model was correct, where it would be, like it is now, or what, and you could see that early on. And I, and I immediately, when I started watching the counties, I was like, okay, it's not. Forget it. And you know what I want to hear in the morning? I want to hear all the damn radio things that were saying, and the liberal media will not admit that Mitt Romney is winning. Don't let them trick you. <laughs> I want to see what they say in the morning. Because they're going to yeah. say, you let them trick you. What are they going to say? You let them trick you? I mean, what? It's the liberal media. The media bias. Romney's going to win this. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Well, there was a guy who did an article. He was a Democrat, though, that did say the media was pretty shameless. That they, 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 they were. They're the media, Now, Fox News, of course, is whatever. But a lot of the outlets pick a can. I think that journalism should go back to being journalism. And well, not that's not going to happen. Well, I, I, I agree with him there. I, I agree it should, but it's not going to happen. The moment television, the moment the news stations figured out that the news could be profitable instead of the service they had to do to get the airwaves, it, that boat sailed. The moment they figured out... I honestly, you should not have an opinion. And that's the way I have it. That's I am in yeah, favor yeah. of editorial news as long as you have both bias, but it should not be the main news. There should be the conveying of the facts, yeah. and then there should be the secondary editorials, which are on in a different program at a different time. Um, I believe, honestly, and, and, and honestly, that I this was a screw up on a, on the part of our government when we gave the airwaves to the TV stations. We said you got to do the news. What we didn't say. Is the news has to be factual, fact check? So we yeah. basically we should have said you got to do the news. You can't have advertising. You can't have the, the news is a service, not a money maker. It's a service you are providing for getting this fucking deal. Yeah. <laughs> but and now we've taken those airwaves back and given them something my, my, my else. My parents from New Hampshire, and, they, and, and New Hampshire used to be very Republican. What's funny is that the bigger areas here it seems. Went Romney, uh, and the rural areas like where my parents are from up in Berlin, New Hampshire, went Obama. That's interesting. And, and I've gone. They're both nuts. Where was our rallied choice? Uh, hold, hold on one second. I'm gonna put a chop in. Uh, this is. I'm gonna tell you. Wow, it, it was close in every damn. All the oh yeah, it was close across the board. Hold on, let me put a chop. Okay. Like on my dang laundry. Because <laughs> some of us still gotta work for a living. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you? Okay, I said some. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's clarify. Did, did, did Steve just call you on it? <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did. <laughs> he knows I don't like to work hard. I've done my working hard. All right, Obama is two per, two points ahead of Romney in Ohio so far. Man, so that means 2008. Man, if he goes up to 4.8%, I'm curious to see. Uh, Rasmus has got the Senate race correct. Five points spread. Go ahead. 
The RCP average, I'm looking at real for projects, has it. I mean, if the popular vote stays as it is, 0 0.7 is correct. We have it. Nate Silver celebrating a guarantee. The baseball guy. I was a little disappointed with Real Clear tonight because they were, why why they started off waiting for things to come in to call them, they quickly joined everybody else with the early calls and the switches and the sun. And I'm like, wait a minute, uh, that's not very clear. <laughs> wow, this is a very close. Look at Michigan District One. Oh, I know. It, it, dude, there's point one. The one thing, the one thing this election showed absolutely is that the country is literally divided down the middle. Half of us want us to go one way, half of us want us to go the other. So I say uh, Mason Dixon line, <laughs> I want the southern areas. <laughs> y'all can have whatever y'all want. <sighs> that Colorado, that supercomputer that's predicted eight elections in a row without fail, got this one wrong, by the way. So did the uh, Redskins prediction. Also the Redskins in a yeah, prediction. He was going he was letting a football game predict it. Hey, it was ninety nine percent right. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Uh, it's I mean, I go I would base a bet off of ninety if I had a ninety nine percent chance to win, hell, all in. Now would you do the ten thousand dollar Romney bet? <laughs> well, I don't have ten thousand dollars, so I probably would. If I had a ninety-nine percent chance to win. Uh, All right, so let's see how well uh, Nate Silver did. Uh, let's see. He called um, three thirteen. What are we talking about? Oh, I'm looking at what he's got. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm on his little 538 one. Let's see. Uh, like, Obama gains Obama with longer odds. Yeah, because Obama did gain after Sandy. Obama gained. It was all Romney momentum before Sandy. That that's for damn sure. Well, and you know, it had, I hate to say it, but it has to do with the fact that he didn't actually have any power to to effectively change anything. No, no one did. Of course not. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So three thirteen. And, and Chris Christie. I mean, he come out supporting Obama during Sandy. That's what I tell you. That's what we're doing. All right. So if he if he wins Florida, that'll put him at what twenty three three. Oh yeah, yeah there, there, he's won regardless. There. Yeah, uh, so he, no, 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 no. I'm just wanting to go on to Nate's model. Actually, Florida would, would is, is 29 electoral votes, right? So right. It, it'd be what three, 332. Yes. So. Uh, it's 303 to 203. So he was actually. Actually, it'd be 332 to 206. Actually, he was helping Romney in the end because he gave Romney 225, and Romney stuck at 205. Okay. No, Romney's going to get 206 because he's at 203 right now, and Alaska's good for three. Oh, I forgot about that. That's right. That's right. How, how Everybody forgets about last year. You know what? I just want one of these years because nobody fucking gives a shit about Alaska for it to be so close that Alaska decides it. <laughs> just, just so people remember, we do have a 51st state. Yeah, no, 50th state. Now it's 51st. <laughs> <first. laughs> okay, they're the 50th. And now there's the 51st. You know what I want to know? What percentage of the American people can find the 51st state on a map? <laughs> Not many, to be honest. Well, I want to know is primarily, and I hate to say this, but I think primarily Puerto Rico is going to be a democratic state. Probably. Oh, just, just, what, yeah. just because of their poverty level alone. I don't, I never will understand, like my wife is, I, I guess, one of the other sides of, of this uh, Hispanic vote of, you know, you know, be accountable and not always want to be a, you know, a freeloader mentality. But so many of the countries that we can that we can use an as an example uh, of where the Latin origins come from uh, have have had ample chances to to become as prosperous, but tend to vote for people. I can give you an example in Guatemala. The Pan Party 
um, uh, voting for, uh, I forget his name, was Asur or something like that? Uh, Asur yeah. or something? I can't remember his name, but he started privatizing things. And then the poor people didn't like it because it started costing money. So they immediately did not reelect him. But I can guarantee you that from 97, when I first went to Guatemala, to after his, his uh, 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 when he, it was in 2000 when I went back to Guatemala, it had much improved. Electricity was actually staying on longer. The water was, uh, was you know, was running. The telephone calls would go through. Then they had a president called Portillo that went through, and then you started seeing, bigger, you know, things uh, degrading again. And then you had... Um, uh, you know, I'm it? wondering that. How long before in the United States, if you want stable electricity, you have to build a power plant onto your house? Hey, you know, I, I'm just, I, all I'm saying is that as you have, <laughs> there's a reason, there's a, an original reason why the United States became as powerful as it was, and it, it was built on property rights, individualism, working together, and, uh, and, and, and capitalism, not corporatism, uh, being extremely successful, and, it's, and, it's, and, it, and, and we are very much a, di a different place, and we keep voting the way we are, uh, certainly. Well, we are. I, you know, I, okay. I don't disagree with you, but you I, you need to come up with a different way to explain corporatism because the mentality in the American public right now is evil corporation. And corporatism and evil corporation aren't even on the same planet. All corporations are not evil. Corporatism yeah. uh, is a know, problem. Between a, corpor a corporation and a government uh, for power is, is, is my definition. Yeah, but you need to remember, you're a corporation, I'm a corporation. This one's not yet. <laughs> he has aspirations. If the economy stays as it is and, and our unemployment increase, and I, and I believe that now, since it's not an election, numbers will go back to normal. We'll probably be back to maybe, perhaps, in the uh, maybe 8% or whatever, uh, that... Man, if we keep extending stuff, it's just going to be very costly. And I, I will say, though, I hope the Republican House prevents increases of taxes. The, as I don't think the Republicans. It's the, a bit. It's a Democratic House. No, the Republicans control the House. Not the Senate. Oh, no, wait. It's Republican House, the Democratic Senate. My apologies. Well, but the most I they can do is delay things, and some stuff's going to go through in the next two years, no matter how much uh, things are delayed. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be... Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. Come 2016, we're going to have three new taxes, and we're going to have $5 trillion more in debt. The $5 trillion more in debt... $6 trillion more. <laughs> No, five, five, five to six. The five to six was going to happen either way. You know, that wasn't a choice. It I was, don't think so. Actually, no, I, don't think I really do. I, I, I think that I, was going to happen I either way. I put money on that, that if Trump were elected, we, we wouldn't go to And four near. years from now, we would be correcting him on that. <laughs> that was going to happen regardless. The only thing that was a toss-up was if any of the three new taxes and decrease and available income and disposable income could have been adjusted. However, adjusting them would have resulted in different deficits. So, it, it, I hate to say it, but the American people need a tax, uh, a tax raise or they need to accept that the U.S. government cannot do it for them. Exactly. I mean, Pick one. Down. Pick one. Like, like Marcel, come down to basic <laughs> economics. I'm sure you know can't spend more than you make. Either you got what to. Did he say? Say he said you can't spend more than you make. That's exactly right. That's my point. I mean, exactly. So you either got to raise taxes, make more, or you got to spend. Taxes doesn't necessarily guarantee more of GDP, though. Well, no, no. We we're not talking about GDP. We're just talking about if That's the government's right. going to spend X, it it's got to pull yeah. in yeah. X yeah. plus yeah. interest. No, no, wait, wait, wait. But I mean, but when I meant by I'm sorry, what I meant by GDP is, 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 is revenue, well, I see, because uh, what we've been doing is government spending as part of GDP. So <laughs> Which I mean, also but, should be, we should change how we count those numbers. Yeah, but, but, what, but what I get at, what, okay, what I get at is, is, is specific government revenue does not necessarily increase with taxation. Oh, no, because, no, well, but, uh, okay, 
But there's an argument that you can tax and then you have that's your then you create fewer people to tax from because people have less incentive to create. Well, it, it, I, 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 I know that's your son. I will tell you right now, it's a combination of the tax and it's a combination of the bullshit. If you can, if you, if, 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 if you add the tax in a way that the market can absorb it without adding any more bullshit, it tends to be absorbed, absorbed well. If, however, adding the tax or regulation increases the wasted time, the degree of bullshit, and the market is already at the price it can bear, then people just go, oh, fuck it, it doesn't make any sense anymore. There's a reason I'm not in two businesses I used to be in. And it was primarily, it, it wasn't the tax, it was the bullshit. And I said, it's not worth it anymore. Fine. Do you know Nate, Nate, Nate Silver called each state 100% accurately? Good for him. Jesus. So he's calling Alaska for Romney. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but Florida, Florida, he gives ever so slightly to Obama. Ever so slightly. Huh? Which is probably going to happen. And then in, in Virginia, yeah, it's, it's impressive. That's an impressive man. This guy, uh, boy, is he going to make some money now. <laughs> Yes, he will be hired by every political campaign next election. <laughs> well, he's a statistician, but I mean, he got every state except for one right in 2008. Uh, and this one, he got every state right, from what I can tell. Uh, oh, I've got to get this this feed up by Thursday, because it's, it's very time-sensitive stuff, so I will. But that's uh, And for those of you who are outside the U.S., we promise that next week we will be so sick of politics that we won't talk about it. Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. done. We, we've had our election. We are done for two years. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I don't even want to hear about it, and I swear if I see one latent political ad, because the problem with our TV is when people buy ads, they buy them in blocks, and if they don't all get used by the expiration date, they all show up the next day. I am going to scream if on the radio or the TV I see or hear a political ad this week. Because you know what I'm talking about. Like the, the spillover. It's like, get this thing that happened three days ago. Like, I, I will literally throw the TV out the window. <laughs> it's just no. No. It's done. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, the good news is anybody who's on food stamps who isn't working is going to get to keep them. The bad news is um, we don't really have a clear plan to get ourselves on our feet. However, I don't think that's really the president's responsibility. I think that's the private sector's responsibility. I think it's the government's job to get the fuck out of the way. Um, well, I can't believe this. Wait, is this for real? What? Paul Rose saying Romney's concession speech doesn't mean this election is over? What the fuck is he talking about? Okay, at this point you're smoking crack. What are you... What? That is a true faithist. <laughs> what? 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 There is no possible way at this point. What is he getting at? Uh, you, you know what? If one thing, this shows that Mitt Romney learned from Al Gore's mistake. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. He, he is quietly retreated, and he's like, okay, four more years. I mean, one, Ohio, I don't think, is going to go back now. I mean, it's, there, it's a... One, a one, one, there's not enough votes. But you know what? At this point, it's like the Ron Paulites. Well, forget it. No, 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 no. You know what? That that right there is someone who is smoking the same thing the Ron Paulites were, who were trying to retroactively get Ron Paul votes, even though there was no way yeah, in hell he was. I mean, come on now. We're above. It's it's getting to sixty thousand uh, delta on Florida. I'm sorry, Obama's only winning Florida. So uh, what, what is he getting at? I mean, Florida's over. I don't know why they don't call it. I don't, are these stokes, are, are these projectors serious? 
there's a possibility that Romney could still win Florida? I mean, is that why they're not calling you? I don't see it. How is that possible? What they're talking about is if you go through all the states, California hasn't finished reporting and is closed. No, 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 no. Florida. Why haven't they called your state? Oh, because all the votes aren't in and the election's already pretty much decided, so nobody's really giving no, a priority. Let me ask you a question. I mean, the thing of it is, is that it's almost a 60,000 vote spread. And there's what, 6% left? I don't understand. Less than that, 98.1 counted. What is it? I mean, so what, how, are you telling me Romney could possibly get all of that? I don't uh, understand. I, 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 the Florida will be called on Monday. It doesn't matter. The election's over. I know, it doesn't matter, but I'm just curious. I'm just, I get, I Paper. Whoa, Colorado tightened up a lot. Oh, yeah. I expect California to tighten up some, too. Really? Yeah, a little. It, it, I still expect it to be over 50% Obama. It's California. Do you know if Obama still hasn't come out and fucking spoken? For fuck's sakes, can you come on out? Nah. He's sleeping. He'll talk in the morning. Yeah, he'll talk in the morning. I don't know, dude. I don't think so. I can see it now. He's freaking asleep and somebody's like, Mr. President, um, you've got to talk. <gasps> yeah. You have to talk, Mr. President. They're not going away. <laughs> I can so see that. <laughs> okay, you said you wanted to hear what the people have to say uh, on your radio stuff on the the 12, what is it? Oh, these re wait, what does this say? Hold on. I can go to Fox News real quick. Let's see. What are they saying on this one? I'll mute the other one. on this particular topic we really want to go into. It said that this thing was live. It's not live. Oh, it's not. It did. It's not live. At one time. It was live when it aired. Hours ago. Before shit. Oh, well, I guess I thought they would have something there. All right. I'm still waiting for Obama's speech. I don't okay. think he's going to talk. <laughs> I wonder what... what that was Oh, like, did you know this entire time we've been talking, he still has Yeah. But there's nothing, Mr. President, there's nothing else to wait for. No, there's not going to be any surprise. Jesus. He could be banging his wife. Come on, now. I guess. Come on, he's got to make a son. Carry on the legacy. That's right. Of the fuel he's about to turn his company into. You know, my, my, you know, my mom, she came, up, she came up to me because she works at a law firm and she was saying, uh, people, you know, people vote, vote for Obama, you know, just for race. And I can believe some of it, but, you know, she had, she got the piss on her member the other day because she said she was in an elevator uh, and there were two guys saying, yeah, you know, if Obama only had one, one term, how would that look to the first black president? And she came over and told me this. I said, well, you know. <laughs> You know what, I honestly, you know what, despite the fact that some people want to make, I, I don't think that really is a big... I hope it's not. Yeah. No, it, it, but, no, I honestly think it is that people want to hold on to hope, and they want to believe that the first four years it was just an impossible mission statement, and these four years will be different. I really do think that's what it is. Black, the black vote is not the majority vote in this country. And look at... And, how do we even know what the black vote is? Do we like go to the polling results and go, these are the black votes? <laughs> yes, yes, no, don't mind those. Those are the black votes. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be lost. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention this one's a bit of a. Uh... Why does the one on Michelle Obama get too draconian on fucking the cafeteria food in schools? Oh, she will. We have to make sure our children are all vegans, so they have, so they have um, diabetes. Shit, Washington and the Colorado who legalized marijuana. I mean, what's going to happen is, you know, I, I make. Yeah, my, you know what? That would be the frickin' quartet. That, now that we've had the Romney switch, that would be hysterical. We have 51 states, and we le we end marijuana prohibition. They have been filming this crowd waving American flags for an hour at the Democrat at Obama's headquarters. You know, uh, I can see him sending uh, Biden out there. Not only have they legalized marijuana, we ain't talking about for medicinal use. Get out there. We're talking for legalized it, yeah. for sale for anybody over 21. This is California and Washington. No, Washington and Colorado. Washington. But did you hear that? What? Marijuana what? is now 100% legal in two states. I did not know. Colorado and Washington, not just for medical, <laughs> just, you know. Recreational. You use it however you want. Use the marijuana. You know what? Let's put our capital together. And, and, and buy some land and have a marijuana farm. The problem is the Fed still considers it illegal. Well, they do, but how can they enforce it on the Colorado soil? Uh -huh. uh, well, the same way they uh, raid stuff in California. But yeah, but that's... Nobody ever stays in jail. Well, because the locals let them go. Exactly. I want to see... All right. For all the hope they had in Pennsylvania, let's we'll see what help put Pennsylvania in. Oh, here we go. Four points, 47 to 52. I'm going to tell you, though, do you know how much Obama won these other states uh, in, in 2000? Uh, oh, no, this is very much a squeak by re-election. <laughs> this is a squeak by, I'll tell you. What, Tomorrow, you know, Doritos stock jumps 10 points. <laughs> That's probably true. Damn it, we need to stop investing where we are and buy maps and Doritos. <laughs> no, seriously. He won Wisconsin. He's going to win Wisconsin by what? Is this? Uh, five points. In 2008, he won it by. Where is the stat? The stat? He won Wisconsin by 13.9. Uh, Five, so it went from 13.9 to 5. That's a huge reduction. Um, Pennsylvania is also a five-point spread. Oh, it's 52 uh, 47. I have a better mission for you. Find yeah. me a state that's more than a ten-point spread. But but Wisconsin was thirteen something. No, I mean, but literally, what percentage of the fifty? Obama won Wisconsin or, or Pennsylvania by ten. Okay, I'm going to show my ignorance of our Senate election process, but I, this is this is making my head twitch. Okay. When does Puerto Rico get its senators? Because I mean, they got to put two more seats in there. We now have 104 seats in the Senate. There's the two for D.C. that don't get to vote, that are there. Yeah, I was just like, uh, uh... But there are 102 plus the two for Puerto Rico. This, late, and this guy, he's, this is Chicago time. He's hard to act It'll before. probably be next year on a special ballot. Huh? Just for them. 
Or, or, or certainly that's the same. I don't think they get two years while the senators. They can't let that happen. Uh, that'd be a special ballot next year. Well, yeah, that's, and that, well, it's like when somebody dies, they run a. Well, but they're supposed to serve the next year term, which wouldn't line up with any of the elections. So we can't have this odd election cycle. No, they started like in two months from now. They have an odd ballot. They have count them, then, so they can be in by the swear-in day. Okay. Two hundred years after a former colony won the right to determine its own destiny. He's talking about Puerto Rico. The task of protecting our union moves forward. Oh, he's going to talk about Puerto Rico. Look at this. Maybe that was a delay. Yeah, they were trying to figure out how to get the straightened out. <laughs> What's he saying? Because you won the right to determine your own destiny. Your dreams contradict the federal mandate. Exactly. <laughs> it sounds good. This election, you, the American people, reminded us that while our road has been hard, while our journey has been long, we have picked ourselves up. Did you say charity? We have got our way back. Turning. And we know in our hearts, in the, for the United States, he defied the odds of even a bad economy. I think it's only happened once in history before. <laughs> That's how much hate Bush had, huh? Every American who participated in this election. When you voted for the very first time, I didn't want to do it with somebody special. <laughs> What's that? I was making, he said for the first time, I was making fun of the young voters' advertisements. They were comparing voting to virginity and doing it for the first yeah. time. Was yeah. <laughs> Sick and stupid. Whether you held an Obama side or a Romney side, you made your voice heard. And you made a difference. I just spoke with Governor Romney and I congratulated him and Paul Ryan on a hard fought campaign. A very expensive campaign, Jesus. We may have battled fiercely, but it's only because we love this country deeply. We care so strongly about its future. Sure. From George to Lenore to their son, Mitt, the Romney family has chosen to give back to America through public service. And that is the legacy that we honor and applaud tonight. That was good. Maybe somebody had to write a speech. The weeks ahead, I also look forward to sitting down with Governor Romney to talk about where we can work together to move this country forward. The problem is done. I don't know. What's he, what's he going to leave? He's not the RNC or anything. I want to thank my friend and partner of the last four years. He can make Matt. Romney his economic czar. Business. Business czar. Business czar, yeah. He's a fool. I, that I don't see. <laughs> about Joe Biden. <sighs> okay, I have to practice this. How many states do we have? It's bullshit. 51. Okay. <laughs> we have to like cue each your bit. Sit down with your wife and your kids and like start flashcards. How many states? Because everybody's going to want to say the wrong number now. <laughs> yeah. 28 years. 29 years going. 50. Is it still recording or is it just us? Oh, I'm still recording. I don't know. Joe so Biden is just so goofy to me. Maybe he's a good guy. I hear people say he's a good guy. 
Who? Uh, personally or something. But who are you talking about? Joe Biden. Oh. I'm just saying, just from the state that I did the, uh, <laughs> I, I've only seen from which part of the, you know, limited, you know, just in the media. Seems good. Uh, are y'all going to get annoyed if I just turn C-SPAN on over there and leave it on? Okay. I'm not going to do it tonight because they're not doing anything. But for this coming year, we kind of need to see what the fuck goes on. You need to say what money to get the fuck out of town. Where the fuck are we going to go? I want to believe. That's true. Obama's campaign team can, can sit high. I believe in staying and fighting. They... they oh, he just congratulated the campaign team. They really, they do deserve kudos. They they pulled off. To me, I mean, this is, I think, like I said, only been de done once previously in history when the economy's, you know, as bad as it is. As it is. That's, that's a remarkable feat. Well, I, I mean, the reality is, um, it, okay. I don't want four more years of Obama, but I didn't want four years of Romney either. And that's why I give Romney credit for electing Barack Obama. And, and that's really how a large percentage... Did you vote? Yes. I'm not saying who I voted for. Because the reality is, I twitched for about two days going... And eventually I decided. And I decided for the reasons I decided. And I mailed it in. And I said, it's done. It's going to come how it's going to come. We're going to have four more years of bullshit. <laughs> Secret, it's the way I was raised. I've, I've never disclosed. He doesn't want to be persecuted. No, it's not that. It's just I don't. I don't like. I believe people should make up their own damn mind, and I want them to do it. I'm not ashamed of the way I voted. I'm not ashamed of the way I voted either. Stop the recording and tell us. I haven't told anyone, and I'm. Not, I've been. You're like the seventh person to ask, and I haven't told anyone yet, and I'm not gonna. Probably Obama. I think he did. No. No. Or he wrote in something. <laughs> I know who he voted for. I look for it. Sure, the determination. <laughs> Actually, you probably don't have a clue. Make sure every child has that same opportunity. See, like you're called. Oh, that's the time. Roseanne Barr. College program, Obama, is not actually helping. Sure, it is. This one's got two degrees to get an eight dollar an hour job. Eight dollar? No. With two degrees, you too can have a minimum wage job. No, you're getting paid more than minimum wage by a few uh, pennies. Eight cent more than minimum wage. That's right. And your boss has a slightly higher college degree and two skill sets. My boss don't have a college degree. Oh, I thought he had a college degree too. No. So he's just trained in a skill set. I thought you said Steve wasn't working. No, he got a job now. Oh, in, 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 in one week's time. That's good. Yeah. He's going to be working, oh, if you don't want us to say, but, so, but basically. I'm going to be working at Macy's. It's <laughs> what the fuck I'm doing. And it takes two college degrees to work, work at, at Macy's. Macy's. No, that, that wasn't the boss. That was the guy who interviewed me. Oh, okay. We're complicated. I know. We have our own opinions. Yeah, we do. Each of us has deeply held beliefs. Yep. And when we go through tough times, when we make big decisions as a country, it necessarily stirs passions, stirs up controversy. That, that won't that. change after tonight. That's right, it won't. <laughs> Oh, and he said it should that good. These arguments we had are not I think he he's saying it should. because he didn't earn a mandate tonight. I think that's, you know, he's like, okay, I'm going to have to concede a little bit of ideology. In their lives right now, just for a chance to argue about the issues that matter. The chance to cast their ballots like we did today. Listen, I like that. It's pretty damn good. Well, but, but he's got two months to earn the ability. Despite all our differences, most of us share certain hopes for America's future. U.S. dollar falls as Obama win paves way for monetary easing. Yep, we're all gonna go broke. Three guys.
What new businesses? Making flags with uh, people on the swords on. <laughs> That's true. We don't, we don't need, I don't care, you know, because I don't give a shit about credit. If he, it, you know, it, it, it might quite quite be just like the second term of Clinton. Clinton did not start doing well until he started cutting taxes in 1996. And people can look it up. And then you had a, ma a massive boom that went into the year 2000, unfortunately, to the dot-com crash. But you still had a great, great recovery in, it, in the second term. You had a Republican Congress, though, that did control both houses. Of course, there's only one house, but they worked together. And uh, the, the taxes were cut. And uh, you you basically had growth after that. And, and, and you know what? Obama could certainly change around. And I'll, and I'll back him. He changes the direction that we, the bullshit we've been doing the previous four years. Great. Because I don't, I don't give a shit who gets the credit. And I don't think it's fair that people, just for sake of party credit, stay unemployed or get food stamps or whatever the hell it is. It's, it's just not fun. You know, I, I, people should get, we should be able to get this gosh damn economy going on. I don't care which <laughs> banner it's done on. It's just get it fucking done. What? What are y'all laughing at? What? He's laughing at something. I don't know what. <laughs> on Facebook. I'm sorry. It's the sign of a bald eagle with American flag background, and it says "Dear Republicans, fuck you," and it has the bald eagle flipping a bird. Oh dear. Um. See, that's bitterness. I don't. That's. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It, yeah. Let's reach across the aisle. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and and I, I mean, I I love debate and and hard debate, but when it gets like you know stupid personal shit, and then then it's you're not. Well, even and, and you, you know what he says tonight? Reach across the aisle. However, do we really think? Dude, Romney won Texas by sixteen points, and McCain had only won the state by eleven. So, we did get redder, guys. <laughs> That's well, what I just need to change. Pick a better candidate. Honestly, if y'all had anyone well, hey, hey, than well, Romney, hey, don't say we, because I'm not a Republican. But, uh... <laughs> Dude, I, I couldn't stand with you. Look, I was a delegate for Obama, in a way, okay? You know... And you know what, Ben? I've honestly joined your official mentality in that from here on out, Every fucking election, I am going to register whoever's having a primary. From here on out. That's right. Because you help shape the idea. There you go. And that, that, so I'm going to be switching left and right every that's two right. years. Every primary that comes up, you participate. Anybody that's watching this, any, it doesn't matter what the party is, participate in the primary. Because that is the process that helps produce the candidates for the closest that you can get. You're never going to get the perfect candidate. But if you participate each time at least, you contribute your part in the process of shaping the end result candidate to the hopefully being as close as it can get to what you would like as a candidate. Now I agree with that, and I haven't voted in primary because, or, or I've been uh, registered as independent. Yeah, and that, that's, uh, and honestly, I, as of this election, and seeing how the Republican nomination process went, I'm like, that's it. I, I'm going to make a compromise with my ideals, even though I am not a Democrat and I am not a Republican. I think they're both pet shit crazy for entirely different reasons. I don't think, honestly, I don't think there should be a Democratic Party or a Republican Party. They're saying there should be a new party called the American Party. I don't disagree with you, but good luck getting it traction. Exactly. <laughs> a political party that's actually based on ethics, ideals, and the Constitution. Exactly. Check this out. Check this out. The elderly overwhelmingly voted for Iran. That's funny, because Obama told him he was going to kill them all. All, all the older people say. The old people voted for Romney. You knew that because of the conversation she was having. Check it out. 65 and older voted for Iran. Yeah. I, I could have told you that. <laughs> That's because they, they're the ones affected by the social level, the, the health care. Yeah. They, they can run all the Romney's going to throw you under the bus as they want, but the reality is Obama already did it. <laughs> yeah. 30, 40, 30 years old to 44 voted majority Obama. 18 to 29 majority Obama. Men majority Romney. Women majority uh, Obama. 
And I, that, you know, I, I guess I guess I have to be helped on this whole contraception that they made the war on women. Because from my understanding of it, right, is that all women I know, you know, they they're able to they're able to, they either get it through their insurance or whatever. If the problem is that it's too expensive, then insurance is the argument shouldn't be, Mr. You know, the Mr. argument Mr. is an emotional one on the fear that somehow we're going to make abortion illegal in the United States. Oh, it's a very very logical case. It could happen. If, wait, no, no, no. If Roe versus Wade would over, it was over. You'd have to overturn a Supreme Court decision, court precedents. Uh, the reality is you have to amend the U.S. Constitution. To make. In which we do yearly. No. Stephen, when was the last amendment to the U.S. Constitution passed? Wait, I'm talking about contraception. The thing that is, is you don't ask the government to help pay for contraception. The problem is the price of the contraception. So therefore, we should be attacking something else and not maintaining its per current price level. Because if you ask for a subsidy or a help to purchase the product item, you only do you only hurt your case. In other words, that price of the contraception will now never go down because now it has a guaranteed government subsidy to pay for it at that price, and then it will continue to go up, of which it will be more tax dollars to pay for. We need to attack the product itself, and the only way to do that is through market forces, to where it becomes a, a very um, uh, cheap, or I don't want to say cheap, but a, a a product that you can acquire easily under your income, uh, like you would, you know, any other device or, or, or product that, that you want to get or service, and, and and that's how you fix the price level. You don't go to the government and make it a, a moral but issue. You're arguing the wrong. I, I don't think I don't think the actual issue is the price of contraception. The underlying issue is whether or not abortion is legal. Yeah. And they're throwing the price of contraception just out there. What's that chick's name that went up and said she wanted contraceptions for college and all that stuff? That was a big, huge thing. That had but that's not with. the issue. The, the issue, and the reason it's an issue, is because I swear to God there are millions of people in this country who honestly believe these people want to make abortion illegal. Well, they want to make it. That's oh, already been they they can't. can't. There are people that want to make abortion illegal. But they you know? can't. I know. Well, wait a minute. Even if, let me just say hypothetically, even if you were to overturn Roe versus, well, let's say the Supreme Court revisited abortion and overturned their previous ruling of Roe versus Wade, do you know what the result would actually be? It would still be legal in the United States, except there wouldn't be a federal mandate. In other words, each state would then have its own power to decide whether it was legal or illegal in their own state. In other words, you'd probably see abortion illegal in red states uh, and probably legal in blue states. Exactly. Well, and then I mean, you're going to have issues with people. And then, because we have freedom of movement in the United States, people will drive across the border to get an abortion in the same way they do to gamble at a casino. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even think every red state would actually, you know, there are some red states that would probably get rid of abortion, but I don't, I, currently, let's, let's, let's. I can think of four that wouldn't. Yeah, Mississippi yeah. would, because they already tried it, and court made them open it back up. <laughs> That there are states they can though, get their car. that currently, even under the current federal mandate, have have deprived their own local abortion clinics of such little funds that maybe one or two even exist in one state. So, it, you know, while you know it, it the Roe versus, Roe versus Wade essentially, if you are in some red states, hasn't logistically done that much of a difference, is what I'm getting at. Even under its current system, when states have starved funding uh, from their own abortion clinics to, to, and put many out of business, that access is now limited. Uh, I'm just saying the logistics of such. But to make it illegal, would, you would say, okay, you need a Republican majority then to, to pass a bill to make it. It'd have to, it has to be legislated first to go through Congress and pass a bill to say now abortion is illegal. And then that would probably be challenged for sure in the Supreme Court, and then whatever the Supreme Court decided would then be the outcome of the land. So in other words, it would be an egregious effect of which I don't agree with because I'm always against federal power. In other words, Republicans that would use federal power to then exert their own uh, beliefs uh, then contradict the very thing, you know what I'm saying? In a, yeah. In other, 
In other words, well, okay, and, and honestly, in the same way the Democratic Party tried to distance itself at the last summit from the religious issue, mm -hmm. the Republicans need to fucking cut the pro-lifers loose. Is that, that's, well, what's, look, that's what's going I, I respect, I respect everyone's beliefs. But no, 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 but the problem is, it, 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 it is, uh, you're, you're trying, you, you ask the question, what is the issue? The issue is because the Republican Party is tied to this Xenophobic, uh, biblical, uh, um, yeah, a, a, a abortion thing. It's not, it literally the mentality in millions of Americans' mind, whether it's factually based or not, but it feels like God help us if we let the Republicans get in there, they're going to take away women's right to choose. <laughs> And until the Republicans separate themselves from that, which I'm is... I'm sick of the statistic. Everywhere. Everywhere is a five-point difference. Minnesota. I told which, you that it's a 50-50 coin toss. It, that's what it oh, is. Wait, Minnesota's a four-point difference. Sorry. It, 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 it's four less point, than six points point. in 90% of the country. Two it, points. Uh, Pennsylvania is five points. They still have not <laughs> huh? I did. Two points there. That's crazy. Wow. They probably stopped because it's been called. Yeah, uh, they probably they, they, they slowed down, obviously. But that's amazing. These were double digit states that were in 2008. I know. I, it, half the country doesn't want to go this 2008 stage. was amazing. This is definitely not. <laughs> yeah, this is a shitty election. Now, I, 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 I'm going to tell you right now, however, um, it's still 50-50, rather, in 2016, it's going to be a Democratic president. And I tell you why. If the Republicans do not get it through their fucking head to cut the shit that torpedoed them this time, they're not going to win the next one either. Well, clearly, I think they clearly. will honestly learn and, and change their platform. Well, no, and that was what all of the people were saying. This election is hey, spent. Hey, Let them the fucking Republican learn. Cut this ultra fucking yeah. conservative shit yeah. loose yeah. and get back to core political values. Hold on. Listen, 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 listen. You have a point. Listen, listen. I think most American women would probably accept the line saying, hey, we're not going to we're not going to condone abortion as a means of contraceptive. But, but it is no longer an no issue for the Republican Party. Right, right, right. The problem is, and this is where I'm getting at, I think there's, re there's, there's a compromise, you know, versus what Republicans fear is many Democrats want to use abortion as a contraceptive, which I've met many Democrats that, that uh, they're younger, they probably change their minds now. A bit. I'm going to repeat they, something. But, but let me say this. Missouri and in, in Indiana went run, okay, heavily. The two senators in those states, which were elected by their local states, uh, uh, came out in, in, in so many words and basically stated, even if you're raped, you can't abort. And they both lost. So the states went Romney, but those two state senators lost. I think it tells you the medium of where the American people are. They're, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're accepting of saying, yeah, it's not really good on principle to say, yes, a, a, abortion should be... Uh, so widely used, it should be used maybe as something as a last resort. Or there there a, is a core, ultra conservative, every sperm is sacred yeah. portion of the American people who will only be happy when abortion is illegal. My response to those people: Don't ever fucking have an abortion. Exactly. To the rest of the American people, and this is the real, and I'm, this is the thing I was trying to say. I'm going to say now: Here is the fundamental problem with liberty and freedom especially in the United States of America, we respect the rights of the minority as much as the majority, and we say we don't trample on other people's lines, which is, even if you are diametrically personally opposed to something, you have to respect the right of another to choose to disagree with you. 
and it's it's the hardest thing about this country but it also is, and that that really is even people who personally on this particular issue who are like well I don't think abortion is right but I also don't think it's right for me to tell somebody else what the fuck they can do and then they wind up against because they're not the xenophobic uh, they're not the galvanizing minority so and it's the Republican Party to try and cater to these people to get their vote has just gone that way, and as a result, they've lost the rest of the American people. Yeah, and picking VPs like Ryan didn't help their vote. Do you know the the Republicans won the governorships? They picked up one governorship. Dude, I never understand. I guess it's so strange to me. I I've witnessed. Where in this election we're seeing locally Republicans being elected. Yep. And and federally not. I don't get that. It's like, well, I get it. I do get it. Uh, I mean, well, I, 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 well, it's part because Ron is being. I, 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 I'm sticking on my ass. I get it. I just, it, it, I'm just saying. It, it, when it's I mean, partly when I mean, for Mormon, it, and saying, it's partly it's, because it's, it's the, the freaking yeah. abortion issue yeah. got yeah. made an issue. No, I, yeah, I'm just saying it's curious. When Even I'm though I, I, I personally think. There was no danger in the next four years of abortion becoming made illegal. I, I don't. I, 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 you, you will have to show me a parallel universe where Mitt Romney won this election and abortion became illegal. Because uh, honestly, I don't see it happening. And, and, and you know what? You know, some people always say, "Run for politics, run for politics, run for politics." You know, and I told, you know, it, it, I had a, it was, it was, it was. Uh, it, oh, I can't tell you that, Steve. How many people tell me? <laughs> To, oh, you should go, you know, you should go. But, uh, you know, the God's honest truth is I don't think I, w I could ever survive in the Republican Party. You know, um, you can I know I could. Not shoot. If, I, if, I, if I ran on the Republican ticket or the Democratic ticket, I would shoot myself squarely in the head. <laughs> yeah, but let's be realistic. That's the party system. I'm saying I'd probably do well, much better in a Democratic ticket than a Republican ticket. Um, because it, this happens today that that economically Democrats, I don't necessarily agree. But you're uh, anti big government. How can you run on the Democratic ticket? <laughs> well, no, but there, because there was years where Democrats were not big government. You know. Well, that's then. Um, this is now. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it can't change. It also doesn't mean Republicans can't change either. I'm just saying, is it? Well, I, I honestly, I'm going to say this point blank. But you know what? In 2008, Rusty, I sat there in lines, you know, uh, for the Obama lines, preaching uh, my economic ideology, and the people were like, "Hell yeah, hell yeah!" Now, had I said, "Oh, well, this is maybe a Republican," I would have been booed out there. But they were patting me on the back. Man, that's smart. You needed to just freaking. Other supporters, you know, Democratic supporters in line in 2008. I was feeling my economic beliefs. They thought it was great. Well, yes, but then you have to point out how the Democrats are against your economic beliefs, and some Repu and the, and in part the Republicans are against your economic beliefs. And then you have to go into that and go, wait a minute, you independent asshole. <laughs> I think if you just lay down the beliefs while putting a party to the side, you you will find out. What people actually believe and what the party aligns to. Yeah, true. Like a lot of people, a lot of people just vote Democratic because they believe that it is. Well, no, and that, and, and, well, and that goes back to what I was saying. It's a, it feels like. Is the facts be damned, it feels is like right. this is, and what it should be, no, this is what I know is right, these are the facts, and this is the one that's in that peg hole. It, don't forget everything else. But that's and what what we as Americans need to do more often is read research, mm -hmm. look at what's going on in the ballot and why it was happening. I can't tell you how many times I heard somebody in the the lines today saying they only know what's on the ballot, or repeating some soundbite that's a half truth. Is exactly. that, that it's like yeah? It, it well and but what you're pointing out to is the problem is at the end of the day the American people are not doing their job which is think, reason, and vote. <laughs> well, I mean, and then that, that we could sum down and boil down to, society at large doesn't give a shit. Well, they give a shit when it bites them in the ass. I mean, I could tell, I, honestly, the majority of people in our age brackets can probably list the characters of Jersey Shore before they can, they're how they're state senators. 
I can't. I can list my senators, not Jersey Shore. Well, I, I said majority. I, I unfortunately I'll tend to agree with you. <laughs> Here. Um, oh, I wanted to find that video. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do you one better. I'll bet most people our age don't even know the Bill of Rights, then alone the Constitution. Well, yeah, obviously. Because if they didn't know it, they realize some of this stuff is not really legal. Yeah. Yeah. No. We have this a 16th really Amendment. There are two valid forms of taxation, even in the original Constitution, without any amendments. Mm -hmm. any, anyway, um, anyway, uh, Howard Stern did this thing about about uh, about um, asking Democrats. Like he went, to, he went to Harlem and said, and li literally, it was so funny how Howard Stern. Here, let me find this. <laughs> Did you say Howard Stern? He's Howard quoting Stern. Howard Stern. Oh, God. Howard Stern. <laughs> there would yeah. a chance at politics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anybody who no, can fuck a woman he, through I'm a like, radio. You're talking all the way. Most of the jobs, like you said before, and you know what I'm saying? Like, and he even had food, but he didn't have food more, so he didn't sit on a bed, so he can do more. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you hear it. It's really muffled. No, go, no, go. What do you think of Paul Ryan? What do you think of no? This is how how certain sets it up. He goes, and they go to these people, and they go, well, what do you think of Obama picking Paul Ryan? Oh, I think it was a good pick. It's, it's like it's like nobody even has a clue. They go, so do you mind? Oh, I remember him? hearing about that. Basically, he was mixing everything up, and nobody yeah, fucking called him like, on it. What if you do? What are you going to vote for? So, what bothers you about Mitt Romney? Because he's black? Oh no, 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 no. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ! How off can you be? That was, I thought that was pretty bad. Of course, there's going to be stupid people everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a reason Jay Leno does jaywalking. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some mental images up, didn't I, yeah. with that one? <laughs> the divided. Drudge has this divided states. Yep. New York. And we are a divided country right now, very much so. Which only opens this up to. Uh... International pressure. I don't like Obama's foreign policy. I'll admit that. I also didn't like Bush forty three, but uh, I just I don't I don't like. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't like uh, Mitt Romney's uh, lack of foreign experience. Well, Mitt Romney's not president, <laughs> so let it go. Focus on uh, oh, focus on the Obama. No way. All, all presidents lack, almost, mo I don't want to say all, most lack foreign experience. That's like they're all, you know, fish fish out of water when it comes to foreign experience. Uh, we just need to only elect generals. That can't possibly go wrong. We can be like south of our border, you know, with all the... Uh, exactly. Generalissimo. The troops are ready. <laughs> Would you like to expect the Star Spangled Donald? No, 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 I meant to say this on the other show. I don't want Michelle Obama to get so draconian on the on the schools and stuff because doing one thing forcibly <laughs> doesn't always you know doesn't always work. But I thank her for changing the fucking food pyramid. I cannot stand the food pyramid. It is incorrect with that much grains. I hope her stance of changing the food pyramid sticks. I stick to the four major ones: pizza, cheeseburger. Ouch. You know, no, we talked about this in the other show, didn't we, Rusty? We're talking about how many uh, uh, diabetics we've created, and yeah, a little bit. I don't know if it made it into the show or not. It might have done it afterwards. So it's, it's, a lot of our shows don't even go up. So probably we're, this one finally make it. So. No, this one's gonna go up. I'm gonna basically just send it straight up raw. 
I'm going to I'm going to render it to fix the sound a little bit and I'm just going to load it straight up and I'll do the description later. I know, they can't even see me. I'm all black over there. Well, that's why I was trying to turn the lights on. Yeah. It was Public fine until we turned those off. We need a light in here. The Republican is winning in, the, in Nevada, the, uh, uh, the Senate. The Republican Senate is winning in Nevada. But Nevada wholeheartedly went to freaking uh, Obama. Hugely. Nevada went, um, what was their numbers? Let's see. Nevada went... 52 to 46. Oh, wow. The gap is closed a lot. It was 10 points earlier. Oh, uh, I get, I no. I mean, look at where the popular is. Look at this stuff. It, it, I'm sorry. We are so... It's how these things, like, close the gap a lot. In the, I guess is it, it... I'm amazed by that. New Mexico, 53-43. So that's 10 points. Arizona, 55-43. The problem is Arizona has such trouble with the border <clears throat> that, you know, and there's lots of Hispanics in Arizona, by the way. Just, it's, it, it, it doesn't matter. I know what saying. Everybody, it, no, I mean, it. I, right. I, I, I'm no, sorry. I'm I will be happy when the United States Census doesn't ask what 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 ethnicity you are. Because it I, doesn't I was, fucking. I was closing up. Yeah, but you know what? But that's not going to prevent. That's the, the one part I don't like about the Democratic Party is that they say that they're the ones that are not the racist. But I'm. I'll be honest. To me, it's the inverse. You make every subgroup known to man, which is actually the discrimination itself. And then you make them war for your for the money against the government, which makes them lobby and compete with each other, uh, which makes it even more divisive. I, I you know what I'm still gonna stick to that um, to where that's inevitably gonna go, and I, it, it's that one scene from Time Cop. The white supremacist party qualified for matching funds today, causing many to question the equal protection clauses. <laughs> That's where we're ultimately going to go when you start sub compartments like, oh, we're all fuzz. No, we are all fucking Americans. E pluribus unum. The rest don't fucking matter. You're either a citizen or you're not. And that's what I was saying. That's why we need to get rid of the two party system and just have the American party. Well, originally we didn't want a two party system, but it came day one over the argument for the Bill of Rights. Exactly. <laughs> we didn't want any of this shit. <laughs> Jesus, New York, 62 to 37%. Oh, yeah, New York is a Democrat. Yeah. God, but that's, that's... Which is amazing because uh, Giuliani is what, Republican? Wow, whoa! Is he not? Wait, hold on, what am I looking at? I don't know. I can't see. No, no, no. That was CNN was screwing it up. I was going to say, holy shit, wrestling went on to something with California. California is 41.57. Uh, were you thinking California flipped? No, 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 no. The mouse, on CNN does this stupid thing on their, when their, it was Nevada that I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh -oh. it, was, it, was like, it was closing in, but I was like, hold on, that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Oregon is 10 point difference. Washington is, uh, what? Uh, 12 points. So, count, yeah. But the question is, who's moving to Washington with me? Okay. You're not going to Washington. You gotta leave a five. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. The mass migration to the Seattle pop fields. You know what? I, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably gonna happen. <laughs> Seattle and Colorado. Right beside Aspen. Popfield. Popfield. <laughs> <laughs> well, they gotta do something with that mountain when it ain't snowing. No one, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So now, not only that, they have a year-round industry. Yeah. Good lord, look at this. Miz Missouri voted overwhelmingly for Romney and voted for the Democrat governor. It's so interesting. I'm so curious as, as how this how these things unfold. What's well, Virginia? you gotta look at it too. It's on the personal level when you get to that the governor. And yeah, stuff. it's very personal. It's that's amazing, isn't that amazing? And then West Virginia. Um, but I guarantee you, 
everything from the dog catcher to the tax collector to the comptroller was freaking party line because they don't know who those people are. North, Car North Carolina was the pickup for Republicans. They put in a, gov a Republican governor in North Carolina. Huh. The House. Jesus, dude. Guys, you have to look at the House makeup. I have. Wow, that's a lot of red. <laughs> For the house? What yep. is it? Yeah. 265 to 224. Well, they're winning the majority. That's a shitload of red. Excuse me, 165 to 224. 166 to 225. Was there 400, what? The house? 38 house positions or something? The house? Yeah, it's, it's 224 to 165. 166, according to real clear. I'm not real clear. Maybe I have to refresh, maybe. Nope, mine's still 165 to 224. I have to refresh. Okay, now I have to refresh it again. 166. Well, that's a lot of red. Oregon is like split in half. Washington, is, do you realize that the majority of Washington State is red? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yet, they're going to all be potheads. That's crazy. They're going to be red from all of Once their pot gets in, they stop working. Mm, yeah. You know, I think I think the, the liberals are, because they tell me I can have my my Doritos, and all I got to do is smoke my pot. Their state, their, their state flower is going to be the, the weed plant. The state <laughs> food is going to be the Twinkie. <laughs> Interstate commerce would be important. You, you know what? We're making fun of this, but the reality is, I don't. I've uh, my entire life, and this is. I, I, I despite my look, I am not a druggie. I swear to freaking God. You look like it. I know. I said. I said <laughs> despite my look, but the reality is, I'm actually. I'm very straight arrow. My my drug of, of choice is alcohol and caffeine. My is mostly blue. But. And, and, and all of New England is blue, but Pennsylvania itself. Well, thanks for interrupting me. It's almost all red. Yeah. A anyways. Oh, yeah. Congressionally, it's almost all red. Anyways, yeah. I have never got why marijuana is illegal. I, I mean, it's. I, I, I've always looked yeah. at. I don't. I don't care. Honestly, they could legalize heroin. And I would not give a shit as long as it don't fit me. Well, no. It's like what I care about is hey. somebody driving yeah. high. Or, or, or shit. And it's a different type of shit, and they'd have to make the equipment yeah. to test them, and all, which is a whole new industry, which is now going to exist in two states. This says a lot, though. This basically is answering a lot of, of what you were, I think, what you were saying, Rusty. If this many blue states are all red congressionally, means they really do want economic shit to work. But when it comes to the federal authority, they fear the power, you know, if they're getting out of hand. Uh, probably on many of the policies or something's pretty exactly. bad. Well, and, 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 well, no, and, no, and honestly, I mean, no, well, no, but, but, uh, ben, the, the, I got to put a stop in a minute, but I'm going to say one more thing. Um, the other thing that has seriously wounded the Republican Party is why Bill Clinton started the de started the change in regulation and some other shit that ultimately started the domino effect, and there's one other before. What create another thing is the reality is and the Republicans can't get away from this that they increase spending when cutting revenue uh, under Bush and, uh, and it was, yeah, a, it was a party line in contradiction to the economics um, and, you know just tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts and it's between that the, the conservative That's sector crazy. Spender, man. This guy spent, I mean, no, no, no. I'm not okay. I'm not saying I don't blame Bush. I blame Bill Clinton for changing the, the regulations. I blame Bush for spending money we didn't have, and I blame Obama for spending more. Yeah. There's plenty of blame to go around on both sides of the aisle. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I refuse to say the Republicans did it, the Democrats did it. No. I am so serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
All the battlegrounds are coming down to five points. Yeah, what well, else? He's still Except, I mean, he's, he's, dude, he's obsessed with it. He can't. He. This is somebody who honestly thought that it wasn't a coin toss election. <laughs> he can't well, no, let I it go. I thought Ohio would go. I really did, but Ohio was close enough. And 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 uh, I didn't think your your state would have gone too. I thought it was just going to be um, Iowa and uh, Ohio. Uh, are, are we going to, do we have anything else of substance to go into or are we fixing to wrap up the, the recording? No, but I'm trying to say, looking at the polls, even there, I'm just, I'm comparing these to the polls, is what I'm saying, these 5.5 five point, five point. We all knew a lot of the, Demo you know, all of the, some of the polls of like eight, nine points was not true. I Two mean, minutes or less. Yeah. I'm just saying there are a lot of these polls that had like eight points, nine points, six points. None, none of the ones I was looking at. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. Like, um, let me go to some of them. Six points for Michigan right there. Six points again on that one. One of them had them at uh, 14. One of them at, we asked America had them at 12. I mean, let's see. Uh, I'm just, some of these things are just ridiculous that, that didn't make any sense. Okay. Well, uh, we promise this is the end of politics. There will be a coup d'etat in two years, but not this year. What do you think is going to happen in the next year? Do you think Republicans gain more or lose more? I think lose more. I think it depends, honestly, on what the fucking party does. They need to freaking lose the wacko, uber-conservative thing if they want the seats. I think my prediction in four years is... No, two make, years midterm. Two, mid Senate, Senate and House and read those midterm. I know. I'm thinking. Okay. Probably pick up. Okay. Well, I mean, we might. You say you think we're going to repeat the cycle of the first election? We'll give the Democrats two years, and then when they don't magically fix everything, we'll go Republican again and back and forth and back and forth. Well, that's the way it's going to be, because then it's going to be four years Democrat and. You, you realize we can repeat that cycle for the next 20 to 50 years and never Not get anything done, done exactly. because the American people are waiting for the magic bullet that isn't going to fucking come until exactly. they... Uh, yeah. Same reason I voted gridlock. Yeah. All right. Well, now that they're blaming the media, which which I... I look, I do... I, I oh, they started that last, last month. The damn liberal media is lying to you. They <laughs> let them... I get, I'm watching CNN and MSNBC. Now, there's op-eds and there's journalists. So I excuse uh, uh, hardball and, like, Hannity on... Those are op-eds. They're not doing journalism. Those are op-ed shows. And they have them all over the networks. Are you saying there Bill are that are not out a journalist? There. Uh, <laughs> I think he is. He's saying Bill O'Reilly's not a journalist. Next thing you're going to tell me is Stephen Colbert and Jon Stewart... Or journalists. Well, don't say anything bad about Glenn Beck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on that bombshell, I have got to stop the recording. I didn't hear what said. Wait a minute, what? He was making fun of the journalist thing. You know, we could... Yeah, but come on, you're going to tell me that they're actually reporting the news? Or no, news? we were being facetious. Oh. That I've got to put a timestamp in. Right. <clears throat> we gotta, we got to say more after or... We're done. Okay.